Chunks of manganese, parts of melt or boil up. Lots of atoms in the chunks, like letters in molybdenum. They're electrons share molecular orbitals, so they're free to run. Their electrons are delocalized, the bands can start to form, electricity can flow. Later, you come across an atom of handsome sodium. But not just any sodium, it's an ion charge plus one. There's a chloride charge minus one, and it's real close by. Positive and negative, yeah, the two ions attract. Now you can flavor your snacks. And covalent bonding, in its simplest form, is a nasty tug of war for electrons that nobody wins. Valences overlap, orbitals hybridize, and now we have bonds like a sigma and pi. Now take an H and a like fluorine or oxygen. The V's got all the electrons, and the H and real positive. It creates a real strong force attracting another H beam. It's stronger than ion dipole. It's not quite a bond, but the attraction holds them close.